I got one more I forgot about. I watched AEW Full Gear 2022. I watched that Sunday night, actually. Because part of it got spoiled on YouTube because people don't know how to fucking act. So, <laughs> got the match results here so I can go through it all easily. I didn't watch the pre-show. I, I don't know what the hell it is with me. I never watched the fucking Zero Hour. I never watched that shit. It just doesn't appeal to me. Um, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. That was a damn good match. It was really fucking good. Very good. Um, I, though, I felt like it could have been a lot more brutal, honestly. But still, cool shit. Death Triangle and the Elite. Ooh, I fucking cried. Oh, God, it's good seeing the Elite back. <sighs> yeah, fucking hair. Christ. Oh, man, that was a good fucking match. Now it's going to be a best of seven series. Hmm. I haven't seen a best of seven series since Chris Benoit and Booker T, I think. But I know it goes further back than that, but that's the one that I grew up with was that's Best of Seven series. And then Best of Sevens are awesome. Like that, those are the most iconic match types for any uh company to put out to put on. Oh, they're so good. I mean you can literally compare them and be like, wow, this was really good and that one was better. Oh man, I can't wait to see that shit. That's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Oh, so good. Jade versus Nyla. Ooh, man, Jade done one Halloween 2023 already. She looked good as Chitara. Holy shit. I was impressed. Highly impressed. And I bawled like a bitch when they came the fuck out in that lowrider Chevy and Vicky's wearing I'm Your Mommy shirt. Dude, that fucking hurt. Oh, that hurt so bad. Fuck. Because all of a sudden I was like, man, if Eddie was alive, he would have been driving that car. Damn. That was a good, good homage. Beautiful. I really thought Nyla was going to win that shit, too. But damn. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Chris Jericho and Brian. Oh, the fatal four-way for the title. <laughs> that... Uh, weak, kind of. It was goodish i guess but not the best like i look back at him becoming an eight-time champion and that was just handed to him so badly just uh whatever uh sarai and Britt baker that one could have been longer but hopefully the next time they fight it'll go a little bit better and faster i mean i get she's protecting her neck and shit but damn that could have been a lot more brutal uh, Joe Wardlow and Powerhouse. That could have been a lot better, too. That was cool. It was nice seeing three big guys go at it. But, uh, I don't know, man. I thought Powerhouse, I was going to win that shit. I did. The way he's been dominating and all that, that was crazy. And then Joe wins. Like, I, don't know. I mean, Joe is a powerhouse in himself. Like, he was 18 months undefeated until Kurt Angle came to TNA and killed his streak. Am I mad about that? No. Nah, that was a damn good match. Holy shit, that was a good match. <sighs> I need to review Kurt's pay-per-view one, though. Yeah. That, oh, God, that one, that was so good. Mm. Sting and Darby against Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal. That was good. That should have been a little longer, honestly. Like, it could have been longer. Like, the time when it says 11 minutes, that was short as hell. <laughs> like, when I saw Sting and Jeff logging up, like, that took me back to their TNA days. When he was, Jeff was NWA champion. I missed that belt. I missed them days a lot. Fuck. I mean, all that's a blur to me, but I when I see... Two individuals that I recognize from an era together. I'm like, yeah, that was good fucking beef. That was a good feud. Uh, Jamie Hayter and Tony Storm. Ooh, that was so... Damn. Mm. That was intense. They really left it all in the fucking ring. I mean, damn. I thought Tony was going to retain. 
Because I know it's building up to... It's under Rose's return eventually. Unless she has the early retire because of her back. But honestly, I thought she was going to retain that. And then it's going to come down to Tony versus Thunder Rosa 2. And Thunder was going to beat her out of that. Yeah. Oh, well. But hell, Jamie is champ. Interim champ. That's fun. And also, I like interim champion. That's good. It beats having somebody... Um, it beats just awarding the belt to somebody. Because you do that if you're either a paper champion or you're just not good enough to fill their shoes. So having an interim belt keeps the loop open. And then you have the unification matched in the future. And then you have your champ again unless something happens and... You know, Ah, the acclaim. <laughs> Man, calling fucking Swerve Randall from Monsters. Damn, that was harsh and true. Because <laughs> I'm like, I didn't see. He's like, you want more? I'm like, yes. And like, he drops that line. I'm like... He does look like Randall. Oh, God. And I like Swerve and Keith. They're a good team, but, man, Swerve's a cocksucker. Fuck. Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. And I love the Acclaim. I really do. They are my favorite tag team now. And, like, the Dynasty of Tag Teams are, like, number, I guess, two, give or take. Two or three. Um, God. And then MJF and Moxley. That was a hell of a match for the most part. It was really good. I was surprised Regal helped MJF. Very surprised by that. Um, but yeah, that was spoiled by, I think, What Culture Wrestling, because they literally put MJF holding the belt in the thumbnail. Like, really? But then in my mind, I'm like, wait a minute. No. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I happy MJF is champion? Yeah, I am. I'm glad he's champion. It took long enough. There's a lot of people in the company I'm actually rooting for to become future champions, actually. Um, I know it's, or I know the company's, it's still a baby. It's not even five yet. Um, but I definitely want to see Dante Martin become TNT champion or AEW champion or mid Atlantic for that matter. Um, who was another one I liked? Somebody else. The women's division there too. Like they need to have, I hope they build on the women's division and bring them more into the mainstream because. <laughs> like, you have Madison Rain as head coach. That's fucking beautiful. Madison Rain is a hell of a vet. I love her. I remember her during the knockouts division days in TNA. And that's why I love TNA so much, because they put the, the knockouts first over the main roster, and that was intelligent back then. But now I don't really want I quit after... AJ Styles left, and then after, I think Eric Young was champ. So, yeah, 2014, give or take. Around that area. Might have been a little further back, but, yeah. Sucks. <sighs> but, yeah, the women's division. They should have more factions there. They should have the trios belts. Now, these, them, them belts are smart. That's a smart belt system. They should make them intergender, to be honest. Because you can have it where the guys win it, and then have it to where the girls win it once in a, a couple times, too. Like, let them win, too. Let, let there be, like, a first-time women's trios champions. I would love the shit out of that. Fuck. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. But yeah, out of all these matches, though, was this a better pay-per-view than Revolution? 
I would say, I mean, yeah, it was better than Revolution, but definitely lacked in the ROH belt. Because Chris don't do much in them fucking matches, let's be fucking honest. <laughs> Christ. Uh, the TNT belt could have been more. Soraya. I mean, yeah, it's her debut match back. I can cut her some slack on that shit. I'm going to be fair. Um, and I get, you know, I get that. I totally understand. Um, what else? what's my top favorite match out of all this shit? Trio's belts. That was good shit. Oh, man, that was so intense. Oh, so intense, so deep, so, oh, man, so heavy. And they kind of went into the why they got this, they got dethroned, and then they stopped. Like, really? You ain't going to go into the backstage brawl? Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh. And I was watching the previews for that. I'm like, Punk ain't gonna come back at this shit. That would ruin everything. <laughs> if he comes back. I mean, I would imagine he'll come back next year sometime. Because if he came back any sooner, it would just be kind of premature. But, I don't know. I mean, at least the Elite are off suspension. That's a start. But yeah, this Best of Seven series, that's gonna be fun. And I hope to fuck... They make a Blu-ray of this shit. I really hope they do. and I Or I hope AEW uploads it to YouTube in a playlist so everybody can watch that shit from start to finish. Because fuck. Mm-mm-mm. Um, what was my top favorite match? If I had to be honest, Jamie Hayter and Tony Storm. It's weird. It was such a good match. Like, they were fucking physical. Like, damn. And Jamie, I think she slimmed down some. Um, But she's still a powerhouse on her own. Um, The Acclaim was a good match. Uh, what else? There's another good one I liked. Yeah, Jungle Boys was good. MJF and Moxley was good. But, yeah, I don't know. That's about it for that. But, yeah. If you don't like wrestling, you ain't gonna like this shit at all. <laughs> shit. Fuck, man. And I get that. A lot of people aren't into wrestling. Am I still, am I dissociating like I used to back then? Mm. No, not at all. No. And I'm grateful for that. Very fucking grateful. Christ, dissociating at 36? Fuck. I dissociate on other shit, but not this. <laughs> nah, this is just pure fun for me. It's nice to get back. It's nice being into wrestling again. That actually has talent to it. And it's still, you know, it's growing. It's going through its infancy. It's learning and adapting at the same time. And I really hope they do more, because fuck, I'm tired of seeing a bunch of dudes every damn week. I want to see more women being involved and shit. Like, give me more of that. Fuck. Because <laughs> to me, it's like you're wasting precious talent having them on dark and elevation. Which is smart, because you know, they're training and getting their ropes in and shit, which is smart. Or laps in, I should say. <clears throat> but, I don't know, there should be more. I know Athena's changed, that's nice. Like her, she's cool as shit. She's a fucking powerhouse, I like her. Oh, man. Honestly, with Jade, I like her. I want her to lose that goddamn belt already. <laughs> Fuck. And that's not personal, that's just... I'm tired of her being champion. Fuck. Christ. I mean, yeah, 42-0 and 0 is impressive, but... If you're going to build the company around an undefeated champ, you got to drop that fucker sometime. Maybe she'll drop it in eight more matches. Hopefully she'll drop it when she's 50 and out. That's a good record to stick with. I mean, the days of, you know, having a long-term champ 
is over. <laughs> Hogan. <laughs> I still can't believe he was three years with the world title. Three fucking years. Three years. Lazy cocksucker. <sighs> oh, boy. But I get that shit. Like, I mean, I get you want to build a long... You want to build... Uh... A rep. You want to build your rep up and show that you can do some shit. But honestly, I wish Jade's matches were more physical. And more... I mean, they are getting more physical, which is nice. And speaking of that, going back to... Was that Rampage? Yeah, Rampage. That was funny. Uh, Nyla's defense against was Sky Blue. That was fun. You could tell they were having fun. Just when Sky hit the corner and Nyla brought her in for Jaded, you could tell she was ha they were both having a good time in that match. That was awesome. I saw that smile. I was like, ah, this is too much fun. <laughs> and it's nice. It was so good and refreshing and shit. I'm like, this is beautiful. But I would love to see Jade go up against Awesome Kong. That would be a powerhouse fight right there. In a best of five series? Holy fuck, dude. Or two out of three falls? <sighs> Shit, that'd be good. But, I don't know. If, to me, it feels like there ain't many women left for her to go through. So, I don't know. But anyway, I'm running my mouth and shit. But, now you know how I feel about wrestling. <laughs> Am I mad about Jeff Jarrett coming to AEW? I don't really give a fuck. It's Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> it's slap nuts, motherfucker. <laughs> God, I love it though. And Sting still going in his fifties. Damn. I Man, you know Triple H is crying. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, so do I recommend this pay per view? Definitely check it out. See if you like it. Do I recommend AEW? Yeah, check that out too. See if you like it. If not. I get you. I understand. It's all right. Not everybody's into it. I'm not caught into it, you know? Like, I'm not, like, hey, you have to watch this forever. No, I'm like, nah, try it if you want to. Uh, I don't know. I have no clue what's going to happen. I'm anxious for Jericho to lose that belt, though. Fucker. <laughs> He's like, Dave Mustaine of wrestling. It's so fucking funny. Just by his look and demeanor. Yeah. So, I'm gonna get off of here. I'm gonna chill. And watch another movie. So, until next time. For real. Like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.